What is up, everybody? We are back with another, actually the first edition of Build and Battle. We're going to be going on Underdog and DraftKings, doing a lineup build on DraftKings and some fun battle royales on Underdog. So it should be a ton of fun. Um, something I really, really enjoy. I do it every year. Uh, I guess for the last two years, technically, not really that long. But something I really enjoy, and uh, I'm looking forward to hanging out with you guys every week and uh doing something like this uh every week i'll try to do it on a saturday or friday um and yeah it should be a ton of fun so i'm just gonna hop right into one hope everyone's having a good saturday um let's take a look here so i wanted to do one i think i'll do one of each of what's available this one's almost about to close so we'll go ahead and hop into one of these goal line stands 12 person uh <clears throat> 12 person drafts um it goes a lot deeper in these which makes it a little interesting um okay rankings are updated that's good um the like player pool goes much deeper in these so i kind of like this a lot more um just so it's not like as siloed but at the same time you can get different in any way you want as long as you like really try to get different you'll get different so it doesn't really matter um it doesn't matter like what your format is like if you want to get different you just gotta you just gotta try so got some names i recognize in here i like this guy's name a lot got the eight hole so i might be looking at like a Bijan type play um there's a lot of players i really like this week that are kind of overlooked but i'm not alone in that what's up play what up ohana card breaks What's up, Joss? Welcome, welcome. Second, come on, second. <laughs> What's going on? What's going on? Hope everyone's having a great Saturday so far. I've had a good day so far. I've had a good day so far. <clears throat> so we're gonna dot, like I said, we're gonna hop into one. We're gonna build a one lineup here, then we're gonna build another one in a different battle royale contest, and another one, another battle royale contest, and then we'll do a DFS lineup to stop. Yeah, I figured it might have been uh, from the way you were talking. <laughs> What's up, Dad? Um, what the fleebs? What the fleebs? Yeah, it's second. All right, let's do this. Appreciate everyone hanging out, hanging out on the airwaves here. <laughs> let's do it. Just Jefferson goes as expected. Chase goes. To Ashley one seven six three, and Casey from eight oh eight. <laughs> okay, buddy. <laughs> love to see it. You love to see it. <clears throat> Aaron Jones seems like a real steal. Wide receivers hurt. He scored 30 points last year against the Bears. That's a good shout, honestly. What's up, Christopher? Good to see you, man. I haven't heard play in a while, so I figured that was someone. Not uh, Adam. Um, all right. So let's see here. We got Nick Chubb. We got Lamar Jackson. Ridley, I think, is fine. I think Lamar is a good play. Mm. This is tough. Yeah, Lamar's fine. I mean, Lamar probably like of all of the of all of the quarterbacks on the slate, like he's got the chance of thirty five plus easily. Um, same with Fields, same with Hertz, Herbert, I guess Tua. But like you can see the path to him getting there. He gets a rushing touchdown and like you know a couple other things. Jalen Hart, Hyatt, Jalen Hyatt, not a bad shout, honestly. Aaron Jones is actually good. I don't even know if he's been drafted in these. He is towards the end of the draft. So that's a good shout, uh, Christopher. Good to see you, by the way. All right. <clears throat> Let's see what we're looking at here. Derek Henry goes. You give quarterbacks the low scores of all team. Yeah, but that was last year. Lamar's got all his weapons. But I... I I didn't really want to take Lamar there. I actually like was hoping Hurts would be there, to be honest. But I feel like Lamar makes the most sense in that. There's tons of ways to get different. Um, I mean, all you need is a rushing touchdown and then like two passing touchdowns. I mean, he can do that. Last year, I know that the reason they were they didn't get any points is because they were so bad last year. They could either be a little bit better or, you know, either way. 
I take over. Yeah, it could just be the Dobbin show for sure. But not in this build, not in this reality. We're, we're betting on Lamar to go crazy now. <clears throat> I like Waddle a ton. I'd probably take him if he's here. Um, Mike Williams, one of my favorite plays. Um, ETN is by far my favorite play on the slate. Um, he's a smash. Love ETN. Joe Burrow goes a 16. So that's like, that's I would not do that. I don't know about that. Um, get the Andrews stack. I mean, everyone's going to do the intro stack, right? Like, why don't I stack them with, like, Bateman or something? And I like Andrews, but, like, I'd rather go a different path. I'm going to go with Waddle. Fields with A. Jones seems like a sneaky pair. I might try that on the BRs. Yeah, I think the field stack is nice. Like fields with like Musgrave on the bring back, something like that would be pretty interesting. <clears throat> so Josh Jacobs goes at 19. So I don't know if I'll get ETN on this one, actually. I just get pretty lucky to get him coming back, unfortunately. So like let's see. I mean, there's a chance Andrews falls due to injury. He could fall to 30. Um I died. Someone's gonna take him, I'd assume, even if they auto-pick or something, but. Bateman seems pretty good. A low owned get bet. Um, seems like a fun one. Like Lamar's gonna get paired with Andrews every single time. Or Zay. And then you get Bateman. Bateman goes for 200, you know, 100, 102. Um, and you're dancing. So we'll see. <clears throat> Just getting a little bit different. I actually really like hits or musgrave late a ton if i'm not gonna get like andrews hawk like your bet on musgrave is like hopefully gets 80 yards and a touchdown with you know with no christian watson maybe no dobbs uh maybe that like like christopher said they might just run the ball a bunch but there's a chance that they air it out to some other guys i have a lot of card herbert stacks ds to work on my lineups yeah i'm about to build one at the end of this uh stream here so I could use some of your help there. But it's not ETN sucks. Yeah, I think ETN's a smash this week. That's fine, though. I also think Waddle's a smash, so can't get everything in one lineup. I'm going to continue to hammer ETN in the other one, so it's okay. <clears throat> also, I think Debo's a good play. He's probably like going like undrafted in some of these as well. Um, 34 ADP. I like that Cleveland-Cincinnati game a ton. I think it's kind of sneaky. Cleveland Cincinnati seems like a very, very sneaky game. Like I think, like the Miami Chargers game should go over the total or like should hit fifty points, but I think that team, that game has a very good chance also. Like assuming Watson is like somewhat better than last year, that game could be awesome. Andrews could fall. That would be sick. At that point, I would I would take Andrews if he falls too the third round um then i feel like i'm getting something that's like a little bit more unique potentially all right so i like mostert a lot stevenson is expected to play javante is kind of a sneaky play brian robinson seems like a good bet charbonnet is there at damian pierce Damian Pierce is interesting. Like, maybe he gets some pass catching at work. The chain is super fun to bet on, too. I think those quarterbacks are legit. Should funnel to Njoku. I think what we know, I think the best... I think... The one thing I'm like going off of is like, I feel like we don't know anything yet. So I feel like just like playing however you want is like the best way to go. Oh, I'm, yeah, I'll take Andrews. And if he doesn't, if he doesn't go here, like if he's not, yeah, not, I feel better about that. I, I mean, I don't hate the idea of Grant Bateman too, but I feel much better about this. Um, if Andrews goes, then I have him at the third round. If he doesn't go, then I might swap to likely. I'm not really sure about my, my swap situation there. Um, they have the same quarterbacks. No, I know. I just meant like 
we don't know how good teams are going to be like every week i mean that's why like if you want to take your your shots you got to take them week one because every year there's like three or four teams that like completely come out of nowhere and surprise us in week one and everyone's like oh we know this we know that but like we don't know anything Obviously, we could use last year's data to help us, but there's a lot of information that we just don't know anything about yet. Does Danny Pierce go? I assume he's gone, right? Danny Pierce is kind of interesting. I mean, he should get a ton of work. A lot of steals speaking left are super fun. Yeah, especially on uh, DK. There is like infinite value you have to help me with that a little bit i, I haven't looked at the slate that much i'm gonna build tomorrow most likely but we'll need some assistance building those kyle pitts goes I, I actually think this is where i just start scrolling um and like looking for people i like i actually the damian pierce thing is pretty interesting i don't know if it matters but i don't know if you had to, okay gotcha i'm sure it's the same same situation a lot of value but I think it's interesting, like, there could be a ton of, oh, dude, I don't know. Like, maybe Pierce gets some dump offs. I don't know. It's a, it's just a, it's hard to say. I'm probably going to go run running back and then do a Tamp Minnesota Tampa Bay mini. And then I'll decide when I want to do it RB. I actually love Debo this week too, but I'll probably jump off of him. Uh, anyway, it could be a Debo week, right? So, did Debo get taken? He's gone anyways. But we're on the Debo train with me. Um, I actually... I think Addison's a good play. Um, I have some Hawk, which I like Hawk too. I think Addison's pretty interesting, because like if, you, if you're going to take like maybe... Maybe Osborne's playing a lot, but maybe Addison just plays the Adam Thielen role right off the rip. And dude could go for like 101 today, or like this game. And I actually think that game, Tampa and Minnesota has a sneaky chance to hit the over. Um, so I really like the pieces on that team. Jordan Addison's going to go undrafted on most of these as well. So the question is, do I want to take a shot? Like what running back do I want? What running back dart do I want? Kev Walker seems like a good one. He probably is like undervalued at where he's going right now. James Conner, I'm I feel okay about. I like Swift a good amount. P Ryan seems pretty tempting. P Ryan, like you can see P Ryan go for like two touchdowns this week. He might get a lot of work. Or Javante will. I mean, it's really hard to say like who's gonna get all the work on there on that team. Down here, I don't think it's anything really worth it. Yeah, if you had the stones to play like Roshan or Sean Tucker, you're crazy. Um, Damian Pierce is, I don't know. I guess like you could take it as like, okay, maybe maybe Houston comes out of the gate with a touchdown. Pierce scores a, tu Pierce scores a touchdown. Pierce is involved in the passing game. Pushes Baltimore to score a little bit more. Then we're looking at a different game, right? But if Baltimore comes out of the gate, scores two, two three touchdowns right away, we might be, you might be toast. I have issues with my DK now. They're impossible to get and be done with them. It's ridiculous. Damn. I have a lineup with Trey Palmer, but mostly have been playing stars cheap enough. Yeah, you could you could punt at receiver or like running back and then grab up all the top receivers. I really like the idea of a Lamar Bateman stack. I'm probably gonna do that in the uh the other one. I just don't think I need to do a Bateman Lamar double here. Um, I don't know what running back I want. There's just so many options that like actually are pretty appealing. Like Ramondre seems fine. Nice pick. I like that. Brian Robinson's a good play. Yeah. I mean, that's the one thing. That's one thing. Like people are pretty confident in Brian Robinson, which I feel that I feel un like that makes sense. What if they like Gibson more? Like, well, I mean, they like Brian Robinson clearly, but. What if they like Gibson a lot and he doesn't get all the goal line touches? You know, lower likely than like. 
more likely that Brian Robinson's going to line back, but it's not impossible. Maybe they go more pass heavy. I don't know. <clears throat> He's a good good play though. Don't get me wrong. Um, Pierce is really tempting. I like Damian Pierce, dude. Like, perfect for this format. Scores touchdowns. The thing is, like, they're they might not score many touchdowns. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Damian Pierce. Maybe not necessary, but if you're gonna play for Lamar and Andrews to hit in a big way and like get you where you need to go. So you need, you know, Andrews to get like 80 and a touchdown, 100, 100 and a touchdown, something like that. He catches very well. They didn't, I mean, they used him in the preseason as a catcher, but he didn't catch like any balls last year. But I think it's safe to say he's going to be better than he was last year coming off the injury. So um, I'm a Gibson guy, though. I like, I like, honestly, I like both of them. I, I took both of them at cost all, all season. <clears throat> I like all the Washington guys. I wish I took more Terry, though. Yeah, I actually like this squad here. Um, so if you're listening on the audio edition of this, um, just a battle royale lineup. You start six players. I didn't really go into this yet, but you start six players every week and uh, or for, you know, on a one week sample. And you go through a draft format where there's 12 players in your draft and you pick six players and you guys all pick six players. You take one quarterback, one tight end or one quarterback, one running back two receivers, one tight end and one flex. That could be a running back receiver tight end. So we're going to go three receivers, one quarterback, one running back, one tight end on this one. We're going to have a mini correlation of Evans and Jordan Addison. Hope that Jordan Addison takes that Adam Thielen roll right out of the gate. We got Mark Andrews to Lamar straight up, Damian Pierce on the bring back, and then a one-off Jalen Waddle in the, the highest total game of the week. This is fun. This is super fun. Chig goes, I feel like I'm getting a discount on like the top tight end on the, like the one-on-one of tight ends, in my opinion. Like if he's healthy, he's the best tight end on the slate. Obviously anything could happen, but Arizona allowed nine running backs over 70 points and they're even worse this year. Jeez. Yeah, that, that, uh, the Brian Robinson and Washington defense is going to be mega chalk this week. And I think, like, I don't know if I'm going to eat it or not, but it feels like I probably should. <laughs> uh, Jordan Addison finished his team off. I like this a lot. This is a fun squad. Um, I want them to change these ADPs to, like, make them for this contest. That'd be cool. But um, that was a good one. Solid team. Uh, and also, this contest, a little bit about the structure of it. It is, uh, looks like about 3,100 entrance, $9 entry, 5K to first. 2000 a second so a uh, pretty decent payout structure there too so super fun gonna hop into another br right now and we're gonna hop into the dog bowl qualifier <clears throat> so the dog bowl qualifier is a pretty much a winner takes all tournament top three advance to a live final i think it's like in week 12 or 13 and uh and that'll be in miami underdog will pay your way there super cool um structure there 10k to first second and third and then you get a trip to miami with one other person so for a live final and then the live final you have a chance to win like up to 200k i think so i think it's a fun contest to jump into like nothing i want to like, throw a bunch into but like maybe two entries a week i'll throw maybe one or two entries a week i'll definitely do um just to give myself a chance at it and i think this one like honestly Correlation may not matter at all. I mean, it might, I mean, it's not that big. I mean, it's 10,000 people, 13,000 people. Like, it's not the end of the world if you don't correlate, but it could work out either way. My my thought is, like, you should already be playing to go for first in the Battle Royales, but you should be, like, even more so in this. Like, get weird. You know, throw, like, you, want, you don't want to have the same lineup as everyone. Do weird stuff. Do things people aren't doing. Like, really try different strategies on this one so i take this similarly to the one i just did so this should be fun it actually might overlay a bit too which doesn't matter that much but it gives yourself a, a little bit better chance to win at least get a nibble that uh that washington defense yeah i'm gonna have to it's gonna they're gonna be like 35 percent on 40 percent on i'm starting them in my fantasy league 
So hopefully they do good. But I want them to break the slate. <laughs> I don't want them to break the slate and uh, bury me if I don't have them. Josh Jobs was serviceable last year, right? I mean, they have weapons if Hollywood plays. Maybe they can move the ball up the field once or twice. I'm excited to see Washington this year. They're like my uh, my sleeper bet to be a uh, wild card team. Bijan is supposed to be low in DFS, 79%. Yeah, because everyone's paying up at receiver, I believe, at least at this point. People are grabbing Chase and JJ. Wash defense is out. Yeah, Loa and Bijan should be pretty fun, honestly. I thought about snagging him and throwing like a bring back of like a Mingo or something like that. Should get like 20 touches and like what is he going to do with it? Does he get a touchdown? Does he not? Like if he gets 100 and a touchdown, like you're, you're good. Obviously, he's going to get some catches too. So um, that feels pretty, pretty fun, honestly, grabbing Bijan. Waiting for five people. Four people. I have a feeling this might fill up kind of slow, but um, I know the battle royales will fill up instantly, so I wanted to get this one done here. People are leaving and joining. All right, let's see here. Okay. Oh, they added a two minute drill uh, afternoon only slate. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I think I'm going to start doing some weekly shows as well where I do a uh, some like basketball or baseball stuff. Like I'm going to do like a variety show for sure. Jacksonville seems like great defense. Yeah, I don't yeah, I don't trust Indy offense at all. But that's why also why I love ETN this week. Smash just ETN is just a smash. I'm getting them in this draft if it makes sense. If I'm not like sitting staring there staring at Bijan or something, I'm going to grab gonna grab a uh, grab my guy what's kittles look kittles questionable right if kittles out like steve it's like the smash all smashes but i think he's still a good play either way like i mean I, is, are you getting drafted really none of these samples like one of these samples so guys is gonna break the slate i think like kittle Ayuk, or deepo like one of them is gonna go crazy Maybe it's CMC. Like maybe that's the case. Maybe it's just a CMC game. But I think I think one of them's gonna just completely nuke the slate this week. Twenty-five to thirty-five points. It's hard to say because I mean, there's so many options, so it's kind of hard to just like put your chips in that basket. But I think it's a little interesting. Personally, I'm curious to see where. Um, Andrews goes in this one because he went at pick in the round three for me. I wonder if like people are like old, always just passing on him there or if he's fallen in every lineup in every draft. Really, Indy has lost some cornerbacks and their safety could be a Ridley game. Yeah, I wonder what Ridley's ownership is going to be. He's like, what, 6,000, I think. Um, should be interesting to see what he does. I love Calvin Ridley. He's one of my favorite players in the on the Falcons. So <clears throat> I think he could be could be fun. Fun to watch this year. I don't know if he'll pay off his price tag, but I mean, DFS maybe, but I just mean general. <laughs> but he should be the one there on a ascending offense. Can't really ask for much more than that. Come on, one more person. People are not excited about this as much as I would think they would be. I think people are just confused about the rake situation, but it's like because they have uh well they took that off. <laughs> Interesting. They used to say like 73% rake, but that was just because they uh are paying people out like tickets. I think it's cool. I mean you're winning about the same, like you're okay a little bit. You're winning less than you are in uh, 
the other battle royales, but you're still like you have a chance of winning 200k, right? If and you go to a live final, like that's pretty cool. Like they're trying something new. I think it's pretty dope. I would go Jawan Johnson or Njoku over Andrews myself. Why is that? Just because he's injured, or you just like them more? I think the injury is a little bit scary, but it doesn't matter like what your total is. Like, it doesn't matter if they, if if the the Ravens score twenty four points. It doesn't matter if they score, you know, twenty one points. Like, if Andrews gets a touchdown at eighty yards. Like, you're he's probably beating most of the field already. So that's like what I'm kind of hoping for. Obviously, he could he could go off, but I'm not really assuming that's going to happen. Whereas I think Jawan Johnson's like ceiling is like 40 yards and touchdown, maybe two. And Joku could go off. Oh, Joku could go for like 101 for sure. So I like Joku a ton. Their matchups are great. Andrews injured. You could get pulled if they get out even a little. Yeah, I mean, I just don't know. We don't know how injured he is or like what's actually happening. They've been kind of weird about what's happening with him. So that's a little bit scary. But I'm not in the business of playing scared in this. And DFS, it makes sense if you want to like calculate your risk on this, but this is like these are just lottos basically. Lottos are much smaller than the money maker, so I feel like just go for real low plays and see what happens. <clears throat> so I got the 105. Let's see if like Chase will go there. If not, I'm probably looking at Eckler. Also, like age uh, the Hertz stack. I think the Hertz stack is like kind of cheap. But we'll see. I'd like to get Chase or Hill. I just don't know if he'll fall. He's been quietly weeks now. No, no, I know. Um, he's been like out of practice for a while. But no one really knows the extent of like how severe it is. is really all I'm saying. At least I, I haven't heard anything about like how good or bad it is. But I just know John Harbaugh's been really weird about like what's happening. So it doesn't feel good. But I mean, every tight end's injured this week. So if you like to take a bet on like Musgrave or like one of those cheaper tight ends like Njoku, <clears throat> I mean, there's worse things to be done. The late tight late tight ends might smash this year. Laporta looks really good. Musgrave has a good opportunity this week. Um, it should be cool to see like what actually happens with the late round tight ends. Fields time? You think it's Fields time? I'll do a Fields Musgrave. Maybe not. I don't know what on this one, but I'm gonna do one. For sure. Feels Aaron Jones seems pretty fun too, so maybe I'll do that. Yeah, Aaron Jones could bury me for sure. So Bijan goes there. I'll take Chase. I'm I'm not opposed to taking Chase here. Um we'll see what comes back to me in 14 picks. It might be time for ETN. Or fields, we'll see. So I can get, yeah, that's what I'll probably, I'll probably grab fields on the wrap. Maybe this will be my Musgrave fields team. Let's see if Musgrave's getting, Musgrave's getting drafted, isn't he? That's crazy. But not, I, I can't imagine he's getting drafted every time. I actually like Kometa to commit on a field team too, because they're kind of correlated in their, their smash games, but. We shall see. Trevor Lawrence seems solid too. I like Tree Law. I just like the rushing quarterbacks in these. Like I feel like Herbert could go for like 303 and then you're looking good. That's what you need from these like non-running quarterbacks. You just need like a fields to go for like a 50 yards and a touchdown and then like one or two passing touchdowns and you're looking great. Green Bay run defense is usually pretty bad. Yeah, it's good for Fields and Herbert. Who's that Lamar's went? A nine. Okay. Lamar Hurts went. <clears throat> we'll see where Andrews goes. Did he already go? Okay, no. He's still there. We'll see where Andrews goes. Yeah, that Chicago, Chicago Green Bay team game seems fun. I could see it being kind of ugly, but um, with like if Jordan Love's better than expected and Fields is better than expected then that game could be super fun to watch. Which is my hope. I hope it's it's sweet. I'm hoping for a ton of shootouts, actually, realistically. Like, I want this...
Chicago Green Bay game to be fun. I want the Miami Chargers game to be good. And then I want the um those are the only ones I can really see going as like a, a shootout, really. Seattle Rams could be okay. Tennessee, New Orleans could be decent. Oh, yeah, Cincinnati, Cleveland. That's the other one I think could be a, a shootout. I don't know if Atlanta, Carolina could be a shootout, though. T Law goes. All right. Um, I'm down with Fields. Down with Fields. Get some. Uh, no RT has to mean more passes to Aaron Jones. They got to throw it somewhere. Unless they're going to run it all game. They have, yeah, they don't have anything at receiver. Dobbs looks like he's, I would assume Dobbs is going to play. I think Dobbs will play. He practiced, right? So I think Dobbs will probably play. If he doesn't, then man, Aaron Jones, Jane Reed, and Musgrave are going to look real nice. Dylan too. Dylan's probably undrafted. I'm hoping I can get ETN. Actually, I would take either J.K. Dobbins or ETN. Like, I take take either of them here. It looks like people are very scared of Andrews. That makes sense. Burrow goes at 24. I wonder how far he would fall. Okay, he goes there. This guy might be auto-drafting. Tua Hill Allen is a fun start. So with this next uh this ten dollar a dog bowl draft, you know, trying to get a trip to a live final in Miami. Chance of two hundred K up top if you get there. Um, should be a lot of fun. So I'm I'm uh starting off with Justin Fields and Jamar Chase in this lineup. Hoping to get ETN right now. This guy seems like he's just been grabbing whatever, so I really hope he lets me get my guy. Come on, man. Woo! Give me ETN for sure. Um, first week's always higher scoring. DFS have defensive have bust coverages, and they don't have tape on the new offenses. The thing is, I've heard people say both things like i've heard people say like offense is coming out of the gate slower but some people also say defense is coming out of the gate slower so i don't know what's true <laughs> i think we'll see a mixture of both like we'll see some rhythm like some rhythm issues and then we'll see some teams coming out firing and the defense is looking real bad so terry goes at 30. this guy with the t law ridley wolf man feels pricey i guess it doesn't matter adp really doesn't matter in this all right so my late round receiver options i like are late unowned bait been super fun i really like um debo a ton There's a world where Lamar goes for 250 and two. Is that really? I mean, it's probably one of Bateman or Andrews to get in there. And then he probably gets there on the ground too. <clears throat> I think Bateman stole a good bet. With the ambigu ambiguity in that receiving room, I think it's like a good take to take Bateman. Is Odell getting drafted? No. Zay's definitely getting drafted, I assume. Yeah. No, the first week scores are always higher than normal. Okay. I believe you. I just say, I don't know. Some, someone was saying it. I was watching some some smart people say that. I don't know. Um, there's probably some truth to it. To both sides, to be fair. Uh, DK is going to go off. Jalen Ramsey. No Jalen Ramsey this year. Who covered him last year? DK Metcalf. I think he's a little expensive, but he is an alpha and I like alphas. <laughs> Debo goes, unfortunate. 
Hmm. I got three picks left. I'm going to grab my tight end. I, I'm going to punt. I'm punting running back anyways. I'm not really concerned about who's on the board right now. Um, B-Rob. P Ryan, like it doesn't strike me as a guy that has a bunch of upside, but like I feel like he kind of sneakily does. Swift has a lot of upside, but that's like a scary ass situation. But I mean, we're playing for first, right? So if most are there, I'll probably take him. If not, I think I'm going to go Swift and just hope that he's the best player, the best running back on that team. And, you know, whatever happens, happens. Every week, someone on that, I mean, I think every week, someone in the Philadelphia running back room is going to do good. Like Michael Thomas, is your Titans have the worst pick. Yeah. Yeah, Michael Thomas could be a fun pick. I don't, I doubt he's getting hurt as much, is he? Yeah. Have you been doing any of these, uh, the Battle Royales, Christopher? Kenneth Walker goes. Christian Kirk's gone. Yeah, I mean, Musgrave is a fun upside play at tight end. Maybe he gets you like sixty. Like he could—he's a guy that strikes me as like a three for sixty type guy, and like maybe gets a touchdown or something. <clears throat> I like, yeah, I like this a lot. I haven't had time lately. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Just been building the DFS lineups. Yeah, I haven't even—I haven't really had time to touch the DFS slate, but I think the best time to build is like Sunday morning. Sometimes, I mean, sometimes your early builds are better, to be fair, but it's fun to build, like, later in the week. <clears throat> Get as much information as possible. Moster goes, or no, Njoku goes. Moster's still there. Madison's there. Madison seems like a fun play, too. But, you know, like I said, I'm going for, like, lower-owned guys in this tournament because I don't think I get duped anyways, but... You get a low on Bateman that goes for 102. You get a low on Swift that goes for, you know, a touchdown, maybe two touchdowns. Like, you're looking really good. So, I think that's where I'm going to go. I get plenty of mustard on the other slates. This is the way you, you got to play these. And there's a chance, like, all the ADP guys, like, all the ADP, top ADP guys score really well. And you don't have to, like, do weird stuff like this. But this is your best path to first is to, like, Making a unique lineup that people don't have. Usually work on DFS all week, but crunch on Friday and Saturday. Gotcha. Gotcha. Dotson could go off for sure. I like Dotson. Love Jahan Dotson. Um, at this point, it's like, who's getting the touchdowns? Like, is it is Brian Robinson going to get the touchdowns? Are they going to score a bunch? Is Dotson going to score? Is McLaurin going to score? Is Howell going to run one in? Like, should be fun. I hope that offense is super powered, man. Like, I want to see Washington be good. For my own selfish reasons, but I also just, I think they're a fun team to watch. <clears throat> so we'll wrap it up, our dog bowl draft, and then I'm going to hop into a, another battle royale. And then after that, we'll be doing a DFS lineup on DraftKings, and that'll be it for the day. And then I'll see you guys next Tuesday, most likely. Um... I do plan on, like, if there's any sweats that happen on Sundays, I might fire up a draft or a stream, or, you know, I might fire up a stream for those. But more than likely, I'll be doing nothing, like, solidified yet, but I wanted to get a schedule set up where I do Tuesdays for sure. I don't know if I'm free as long as I'm able to. Tuesdays for sure with TVP. And then we'll be doing um, these shows on Fridays and Saturdays or Saturdays. And then I'll do a search party with some people maybe Sunday nights. Or Friday night, stuff like that. And then um, probably a weekly review show on the middle of the week type thing, Wednesday, Thursday. So trying to get as much content out there. 
Oh, Zay's here. I was like, where's Bateman? Could be B Rob. Both B Rob. B Rob would definitely get a lot of rook. A lot of work. Yeah. I'm curious to see how they use their running backs. Like Dotson with 85 yards and touchdown. B Rob 100 yards, one or two touchdowns. 100 yards and one or two touchdowns is pretty sick. <laughs> I like the sound of that. So we grab Bateman here. Don't think I'm getting sniped on Bateman. So Zay does go. I think Zay goes drafted in like all of these probably. And I'm curious if Odell does too. No. Zay probably gets drafted in all of these. Dobbins gets drafted in all of these. And Andrews gets drafted in all of these. Who else has upside on that team? Bateman. Maybe Odell if you, you want to go that route too. Odell's a, a, a good bet too. Yeah. Love that. Love that team. So another battle royal squad in the books did a little bit different on the last three picks definitely i would say got a unique combo that no one else has got jamar chase jamar <laughs> jamar chase justin fields travis Etienne, luke musgrave deandre swift and rashad bateman to end the squad off now we're gonna hop into another draft here last one of the day on underdog and then we'll hop in and make a quick little lineup on dk not trusting reasons my receivers I will be touching them <laughs> in not a wrong way. <laughs> Love all the uncertainty with their receiving core. I think someone's going to have a good game on Baltimore. They're going to score points. Someone's going to have a good game. I'm going to take shots on one of them or both or two of them. It could be easily all Dobbins. It could be all Lamar. It could be all Andrews, but I think it's going to be one of them. It's pretty hard. Like they have a pretty good total. They're going to score points. Someone's going to score fancy points. Someone is scoring fancy points on that team. Hopefully it's not just a mixture of all of them, but. They're not like the Chiefs with like all their receivers that they're going to spread the ball around to. <clears throat> so Jefferson goes, Tyreek goes, probably. I wouldn't mind grabbing like Bijan here just to get different. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I'm just going to grab Bijan at three. Chase is gone as well. Caffrey goes. Okay. So these are a little bit different. The battle royale, the straight up battle royales um, are, you really have to, if you want to get unique, you have to force it because um, there's less combinations, less players in the pool. Um, well, the same amount of players in the pool, less drafters in your draft. Six drafts, you know, six players in your draft. So only 36 players are picked every single draft. As opposed to 72 and the other ones. So far, the injuries broke my way. Very nice for late tight ends. Zero Kelsey, zero Wallace, zero Cup, zero Taylor. Things are shaping up, shaking up good early. Yeah. Definitely would not, would not, would feel pretty good to have late tight ends. Uh, a lot of them. I have a good mix of both, but... I'm looking forward to like look I, I'm gonna be watching it because I'm just I like I like looking at it all the time but week eight will be where I'm really excited to like look at all my drafts and see like where, how things are looking like what teams are looking really strong what teams are looking pretty good um, it'll be a lot of fun to review our best ball teams throughout the year we'll have to keep me updated on how you're doing as well damn it dude why are people doing this Why are you taking Jalen Hurts from me? Um, I think I'm just going to scroll, man. I'm going to have fun with the rest of this team. AP doesn't matter. I'm just going to scroll around and pick people. D 
Ebo. Gonna go with. Everett seems pretty fun. I like Everett a lot because I think people are not gonna pair. Like, if they're picking Chargers, they're not. Everett's probably the last one on the list. He could be a guy that scores two touchdowns. Um, maybe I will go get AJ Brown now. And then I'll grab Debo as my second. And then I'll go quarterback with. Are you set on Debo this week? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I think people are underrating his upside, and that's all that matters in this contest. Um, I think San Francisco is going to score points. They have three, four elite weapons. I think one of them is going to do good, or two of them, probably two. And I'm going to take my shots on them. I think Debo, like, I, I think Ayuk is probably, like, fairly priced, but I think Debo is, like, almost underpriced. Especially in this. If he's going undrafted in this, that just seems ridiculous to me. Dude's a monster. Just haven't heard anyone talk about him this week. That's good. I'm happy about that. I, I've seen a couple people post about, like, Debo being, like, a, uh, a good pick late in this. But other than that, I haven't heard much about him, which is... Cool. People not being on someone is not all like the worst thing. Still, as even scares me. That's fair. He's going to, I mean, if you think Purdy's bad, which is possible, then it could just be a disaster and that game's going to go like under the total and it's going to be ugly. And yeah, but people's going to get manufactured touches like he always does. Does he bust one to the house? He's got as good a chance as anyone to do that. So I just that's kind of very, very straight into the point. Like, good player. All right. Um, hmm. Grab him now. What quarterback do I want here? I mean, Purdy seems kind of disgusting to take, honestly. I might just pick up an unstacked towel or something. No, that doesn't really jive that well. I mean, I'm just going to do on. Um, I might be doing an uncorrelated quarterback. I'm all over Michael Williams. He should crush. I like Michael Williams a lot. Well, I mean, let's do it. I mean, I don't know how much upside Averich has. Like, he might get like 20 to 25. I feel good about him getting like 20. I don't know if he's going to get like 30, but I guess you never know. He runs a touchdown in. I didn't really know what to do there. I don't really like what I did, but that's fine. I'm gonna do weird. I'm doing weird stuff in this one. I'm not really worried about it. The five dollar draft. Be willing to be crazy with it, and you know, see what happens. A lot of the craziest lineups are the ones that have won this tournament. Mike Williams is like probably my favorite play. <laughs> Mike Williams looks really good. I try to I try to do my DFS brain and try to like see like pivots or like leverage plays just like in a uh, regular DFS. Everett, I'll grab him late. So I have a very weird team. I doubt anyone is grabbing Debo, Averich, and uh, Everett. So <laughs> gonna have a unique team. Hits looking good. If not, then we're not. But solid squad there. I'm gonna hop over to DraftKings now for a quick little lineup build. All right, start at quarterback. We don't. This is a million. This is the million maker. So we're not gonna like over correlate, but it's okay to correlate a little bit, in my opinion. But 
it's kind of like you don't want to like overstack your teams because then you're kind of leaving yourself thin. So like 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 in weekly winners, you're not super stacking one team unless they're all cheap. So let's go ahead and take a look here. You can help me build here if you want, um, Christopher. You don't have to, but you know, it's fun if we want to do like a interact with the chat here. I don't really it doesn't matter to me. Uh, okay, let's see. So. I'm going to start with the Howl double stack. So play against the Brian Robinson chalk and the Arizona or the Washington defense chalk. I still think this will be a popular pairing, but something I like a lot. And I'll probably be going with ETN at running back. Maybe pay off for Bijan as well. And then... Hmm. I thought I want to play this now. So I <clears throat> started my build with Howell, Dotson, McLaurin, Brian Robinson, and Travis Etienne. Sorry, not Brian Robinson. Bijan Robinson. Um... Start with that. Just have some plays I like. A little bit of correlation with my quarterback and my two receivers. That could uh, soar over these price tags very easily. Um, do we want to punt at our third receiver with like a 2-2 Atwell type? That seems like it could be viable. I like the Minnesota game a lot. Hmm. Fifty one hundred for Jordan Addison feels like a good price. Could absolutely smash it. I think you need to have like at least one piece from this game. And that piece will be Mike Williams. We'll see what we can get on defense. The 2 2 Owls seems like a fun play, but I mean, Addison probably has more touchdown or more upside in a higher total game. All right, so we'll go ahead and, and grab up the. Pat's defense seems pretty fun. What about the Falcons' defense? Where are they at? 3200 for Falcons' D. Gets the rookie quarterback. That seems interesting. They don't have many weapons. I think that's kind of fun. That's pretty fun. I don't know if any people are talking about Falcons D, but 4,800 for Tyler Higby, Evan Ingram, Dalton Schultz, Kyle Pitts, Cole Komet, Everett. Actually, I think I'm going to lean into that Everett stuff. Falcons defense for sure. Can't advocate for two foo. <laughs> it's too small. Two, two, too small. Um, don't worry. I'll get Mike Williams shares. Don't worry. Um, I'm going to do something else though. So I'm going to go with. Hmm. Did the Godwin bring back? Where's Mike Evans at? Is he priced? Oh, he's 6,300. That sucks. I would be taking him for sure if he was there. Amari Cooper at 5,800. That seems a little underpriced. Um, might just go that route. I want to put Addison in the flex, please. And I'll take... Where's Michael Thomas? Going under for Michael Thomas, so the same price as Addison. It's pretty cheap too. He goes for his vintage like eight for eighty type of game. Feels pretty good. Pittman is Pittman's like I don't know if he... Pittman has a good like Pittman's actually not a bad shout here. Maybe that game goes over the total. Maybe average looks better than expected. Pittman catches like eight balls on like some rollouts from A-Rich. 
Who has more upside though? Michael Thomas and Addison trying to win a million dollars here. I would, I would say Addison. I maybe I'm wrong there. Maybe I'm wrong there. But I think Addison more is more upside. But that might could just be my bias towards Michael Thomas. So um, you're more than welcome to build this, build Michael Thomas, and win the Millie, and and then rub it in my face. <laughs> Please don't do that. That would be sad. <laughs> I wasn't winning a million. No, hey, you don't know that. Pretty sure Terry, yeah, the million, you could do anything in the million maker. Uh, Tutu Atwell, or not Tutu Atwell, Terry Cohen was in the winning lineup one year in week one. So. Ultimately, there's like a one in one million chance I win this. So I'm not expected to win, but uh, definitely Fields Herbert, someone a little better, even Watson. We don't know until it happens. Man. <laughs> if I had a crystal ball, then uh, maybe maybe we would know. I'm gonna go Pittman here. That seems kind of interesting, I guess. I don't think Pippen has great upside, to be fair, but that's why I'm kind of debating not doing it. But there's really nothing in here. Kamari Cooper actually might be the best one. Probably going to go that route instead. I feel much better about that than Pittman. I don't know if Pittman has much upside. I think Kamari Cooper has a ton of upside. I'll go Kamari Cooper. Um, just saying. Fair, fair. But hey, when I build a millionaire aircraft lineup, I don't expect to win. I'm just uh, throwing a dart at the board. <laughs> just like when you're playing BBM, you should never expect to win. You just play and see what happens. Make your stands and, and try your best. It's a mindset we got to have these days. Don't expect too much. Just try your best and see what happens. Have an open mind. Uh, yeah, this is fun. I like this build. Um, we're going to go with Sam Howell, ETN. I'm gonna probably make a couple other Millie Maker lineups just for fun. Um, that's a five dollar Millie, but Sam Howell, ETN, B. John Robinson, Jahan Dotson, Terry McLaurin, Mari Cooper, Gerald Everett, Jordan Addison, and Falcons defense. So leaning into a ton of uncertainty, I like at least to have a shot. Everyone has a shot as long as they're in it. As long as you're not drafting seven quarterbacks, you're you have a chance. <clears throat> in your uh, BBM drafts, but yeah, that was fun. I'm going to go ahead and drop that into another contest, the free contest for fun. But yeah, no one knows anything. Best chance we have is just giving it a shot. Should be a lot of fun. But uh, yeah, thanks for hanging out, Christopher. As always, appreciate you, you being here. Uh, good luck. Let me know what your millionaire you're, uh, let me know what you do with your millions you win this week. <laughs> um, I'm just messing around. But uh, weekly winners is going to be super fun. Yeah, I, I make, I'm looking forward to weekly winners. Very, uh, very much agree with that. But yeah, thanks for hanging out. Appreciate uh, you hanging out, man. Have a wonderful Sunday, bro. Uh, have a good weekend as well. And uh, yeah, be safe. Have a good time. And yeah, enjoy yourself, everybody. Good luck with your weekly winner sweats, your DFS sweats, your underdog sweats, everything like that. I feel good about this year. Me too, man. I'm excited. Every year is a new opportunity and I feel very excited and blessed for it. So looking forward to it. Uh, if you hung out for the whole time, if you hung out at all, make sure to drop a subscribe if you're, if you're new. I would really appreciate it. We're almost to our goal. We set new goals every time we hit our new goal. And then obviously we'll do some fun like giveaway type stuff down the road, depending on what happens. But yeah, have a good day, everyone. Catch you guys next time and uh, yeah, much love and see you guys later.